The town of al Baghdadi falling into the hands of ISIS as the Iraqi army evaporates. Anyone who follows Jesus faithfully will pay a price for following him and holding fast to the truth of God's word. It doesn't matter if we live in a place attacked by ISIS or a community where we're considered social pariahs for standing on God's word. Jesus knew that it would be this way. How is it possible to be faithful despite the forces that oppose us? <laughs> It's true, I have lost everything. My business, my house. I even became displaced and can no longer live in my home village. But I used to be lost too, and now have been found, because Jesus Christ was for a long time waiting at the door and knocking, but my eyes were closed and I couldn't see it. All this has happened to me and shown me and led me to see that Jesus Christ is at the door, so I can simply open the door for him. This couldn't have happened if I was still involved and busy with my business and my daily life in my village. The temptation would be to say I've lost everything and yet I remain here in the constant threat of ISIS. And therefore God's not faithful to me, but instead I hear from them that God has been faithful to them and they sense his presence, that he's always with them even in the midst of the suffering, even in their present difficulty. We, everyone of, of the church came and tell me, I experienced what's the meaning of our Father God. Two times they put bombs beside the church wall, but thanks God it was a miracle, you know, it did not explode. I was talking to people even yesterday, I would say majority, they don't blame God about what happened. Most of them, they say that, okay, for his name's sake, we are ready to lose everything. In the midst of the suffering, we see the pastors are faithfully shepherding their people and serving their people. Here, we believe that everyone can succeed, but actually, as a church, we can be creative. And we believe that less food, less medicine, or people can survive. But less grace, no one can survive it. We had an event before uh, uh, a few weeks ago. 4,000 people came to this, these three days of events. And out of the, those 4,000 4, people, I saw it. 3,000 of them stood up and uh, prayed the salvation prayer. Like they, they, they gave their life to Jesus. We need to be encouraged by the faithfulness of our brothers and sisters in the Middle East. And we need to understand their perspective, which is not one that's focused on this temporal world. It's focused on the eternal reality and God's eternal plan and purpose. So I need the Western people, the American, the European, to pray for the church here to stay for the other's benefit, for the other people's benefit encourage them and give them hope that your Jesus Christ will never forget you. Encourage them by telling them that you are watching their suffering. Just let us know that there are a brother for us in other countries, they knew what we are suffering. We've seen what faithfulness looks like in the Middle East. What does it look like in your hometown? What does it look like to say with these brothers and sisters, I am in?